Well, it's a great day out here, beautiful weather, uh, lots of excitement in the air, and it's, and it's great to see everybody coming together and, and looking at all the possibilities that are out there and start to think how that might affect their everyday life. The Freeport site wanted to host a robotics ex exhibition today so that our employees could get a look at what's possible. A lot of us grew up with pen and paper, and we may not have the full vision of what's possible with robotics. And what I really appreciate that BSF did uh, for the Freeport community is we expanded this event and allowed the community partners to come in. We even had kids at the event yesterday, because certainly this is going to be the way they work uh, when they're finally able to come work at BASF. So we've got quite a variety of robotic platforms here today. As you can see, we've got robots that can climb up non-magnetic surfaces. We've got robots that can climb up magnetic surfaces. We've got uh, UAVs or drones as they're often called. And then we also have robots that can perform cleaning and inspection on tank floors together with pipeline crawlers. As we move forward with our Project 4.0 process, we wanted to get our folks more involved with this is where we're going, this is why we're going there, and it's much easier to do this with uh, them seeing the finished product than it is for us to put a presentation out and say this is what's coming. If they can actually touch it and see what is happening, it makes it a stronger story and it allows for a better buy-in process. I think it's one thing when you're a student in class and you're doing a robotics project to do it as a standalone project in school, but to actually come out into industry and to see how those projects are really coming to life and that a robot could actually be something that you use in your day-to-day -day job um, is good for the kids. It allows them to envision what their future workplace will look like, you know, and the type of work that they'll be doing in the environment like our chemical plant that they'll be working in. It gives them a picture of the future. Sprint Robotics is a global organization that promotes the large-scale use of uh, robots for inspection and maintenance purposes. We feel that's really important because uh, not only are robots uh, safer in many uh, circumstances, they're also often more efficient uh, to use in our industry. We're just getting into uh, the, the use of robotics, uh, but we see great potential there, which is one reason why we brought everybody here today, to see that potential so that they can see it firsthand and start to think how it might be used in their day-to-day -day jobs. You know, you can read a book and learn about them. You can go onto YouTube and watch a video but nothing beats being able to see firsthand how these technologies can help improve our job tasks and help improve our working environment. Robotics helps us to uh, further improve the safety aspects of some of the jobs that we do. Uh, it gives us better access to data in real time and allows us to uh, use robots in places where humans can't access and then thus making us more efficient and safer in the jobs that we do every day. I've seen a number of examples in the exhibits today that show me that the new style of work we'll be doing will really enhance and improve safety. Along with that for us is going to also come productivity. If we don't adapt, we're going to get left behind and we don't want that. So with the visions that our leadership has, I think that we can, uh, we can move forward with that and uh, become a far stronger company. So augmented reality for BASF is the ability put real-time data in the hands of the BASF employees. So it's the ability to be mobile, to have at the point of use uh, information at people's fingertips so that they can make the right decisions in real time. BASF. We create chemistry.